Hello there lads and lassies! Welcome to Dungeon Keeper FX. Now, the only reason I'm just doing a, a, a video on this one, and please excuse the old school graphics, is because this used to be one of my favourite games when I was growing up, and I am now found out that it was available on Steam, uh, but through the, Dun the Keeper FX mod it makes it a lot better. And uh, yes, again, I know graphics kind of weird and stuff like this, but this intro, this intro was just so epic when I was growing up. It really was. I mean, this. Right, come on, dude, come on. You've probably heard of Dungeon Keeper before, I'm pretty sure, but yeah, I love these kind of games where you get to play the villain and stuff. So, I just love this intro so much. <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah, 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 whatever. Get lost! Yeah. <laughs> there we go, Mr. Nightmare. Like, oh. oh yeah, but I mean, look how skilled that man is! Yeah, totally skilled, totally skilled. Okay. <laughs> He's like, yes, I'm going to get the gold! Hello! <laughs> yeah, you'll take me on! Come on! <laughs> bye bye! Okay. So there you go. Um, Dungeon Keeper. This. I, I, again, like. Uh, again, I played this many, many years ago. Um, I remember my dad bought me this game uh, for my birthday one year, and I was like, "What the hell is this? I, I don't play games like this." And I just, I, I got addicted to it. And then I got Dungeon Keeper Two, and then of course there was meant to be a Dungeon Keeper Three, but then they cancelled it, and it became War for the Overworld. Uh, let's go for the original campaign. Uh, here we go. Smile. You've got a lot of voice as well. The realm of joy. The people yes. of Eversmile are plagued only by aching facial muscles. <laughs> and not anthrax as we had hoped. Oh. Eversmile is a disgusting land of good humour and polite frivolity. Yeah. So, we're going to do one level here. Uh, just to show you guys a little bit of what Dungeon Keeper's like. Because some of you may know about it, some of you may not. Uh, okay, the first thing a Keeper needs is somewhere to keep gold. Where it's been mined out of the rock by his imps. Create a treasure room. Select the treasure room icon from the rooms panel and fill the empty area to the west with the treasure room tiles. Okay, so let's uh, let's just change this round a bit. Make sure that the west is on the west. There we go. So this is the empty room here, and we're going to fill it with treasure room tiles. There we go. Expertly done. Press the right mouse button to turn the pointer back into the hand of evil. Mine out the gold to the east by attacking the area. With the left mouse button, your imps will dig out the gold and carry it back to your treasure room. Okay, so there we go. And we can zoom in as well here. So let's uh, dig this out. And one of the things you can do to make your imps work faster is you can slap them, like so. And it should make them go a lot bit faster. Uh, so here we go, what does it say? If you want to make your creatures work harder, slap them by right clicking the hand of evil on them. Slapping will harm your creatures. I know. I know. I was just telling the people at home that. Okay. Okay. So. Let's get this nice and even. And also, you could dig pretty much anywhere in your dungeon uh, and look for new new things and stuff like that, but you're better just to. Into a new area. Oh, a new area. Okay. We've got some water and stuff here. So let's see. Uh, use the left mouse button to click creatures from the dungeon, use the right mouse button to drop them over the room. Or tile belonging to your dungeon, creatures perform the task more relevant to the situation they're dropped into. Simples. Okay, and a new area has been discovered which you've already seen. So, they're just doing the wee thing there. Okay. Give you a slap. Bastard mate. That's it, there we go. Nice and fast. Ah, greedily done. Okay, so now we need to turn some of the dungeon into a lair. The layers are where the creatures rest and recover. The area imps just mined out would be an ideal spot for some creatures to lurk. Select the layer icon from the rooms panel. So there we go. 
and we will just uh, create a layer there. So okay, now dig a tunnel that connects the portal to the north. The portals appear on the map as flashing squares until they are claimed. Uh, creatures can only use portals claimed by uh, a keeper. Your imps claim a portal as soon as it connects to your dungeon. So let's uh, draw a line here, a line in the sand. In our little impedance, they're uh, fortifying the dungeon walls there to make them more secure. There we go. Lovely, lovely. Okay, then they're just claiming our tiles. And... Come on, dude. Come on. An entrance has been claimed. We have claimed that entrance. Nice. Okay. So the new room has been taken over the portal. Uh, okay. So your first minion has arrived. It's a giant fly. It can spit corrosive vomit at your enemies and its wing grant the hideous insect the speed to intercept most nimble trespassers. So let's have a look at this fly here. There it is there. There's a little fly there. Doing this little fly thing. Okay. Oh, and a beetle has scuttled into the realm. It's tough enough to absorb a lot of damage. Like most creatures, beetles require food. They get a new area. Select the hatchery. And tasty snacks will soon emerge from its enchanted soil. So let's zoom out here and let's uh, dig out an area here. And let's make it like so. There. Okay, and then my imps should uh, do their thing here and dig holes. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, got more flies, more beetles coming in. Okay, once they clean this land. Where did my other imp go? Oh, there's still fortifying walls up there, that's fine. Okay, once we've claimed all this, we can then make our, our hatchery. We can create delicious food for our minions. There we go. Okay, imps fortify your walls to prevent intruders tunneling in. If you want to create more imps, go to the research panel, select the imp icon, and left click anywhere in your dungeon. Each imp create costs more than the previous one. So let's create a couple of imps here. There we go, an extra three imps. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Everything is working out well. We've got plenty of uh, creatures. Oh, oh, something's happening. What have we got going on here? Why not have a handful of creatures ready to drop on top of our traders to pick up creatures quickly? Left clicking them from within the creature panel. Oh, intruders approach. Okay, so let's go to the creature panel. Uh, and where are these creatures coming from? I hear the banging. I hear you knocking. Let's click here and see where they're coming from. Coming from up here. Okay. So we've got our creatures ready to take on the enemy. The enemies are coming. Going to come in round about here. Right, come on then, break down our walls if you can. If you dare. Aha! Uh -huh. they're, they're looking for somewhere to break in, but they can't find anywhere yet. Look at them go! Come on, enemies! Come on! And you come! Where are you going? Really can't find out where to go, can you? Oh, I'll put my creatures down for the minute. Okay. That's fine. They can do whatever they like. We can slap the chickens. Okay, so they are... Where are they now? They're still there. They're still trying to find a way in. Should I make it easier for them? I don't know. Let's make it easier for them. You have tunneled into a new area. There we go. 
All right. Okay, we're gonna take out these guys here. That's fine. That's perfect. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then our guys can claim the rest of this area now. Look at our M score. Yeah. Making monies, making monies. A few more imps in the go. Let's get this going faster. Right, where are they up to? Aha! More enemies! More enemies! Okay, take them out, take them out, come on! That's the way to do it, there we go. Uh, payday, so I need some coins. Just taking absolutely everyone out. Okay, so save your first victory while you can. You have attracted the wrath of the Lord of this realm. His party will soon be here. Oh no! Not the Lord of the realm! Where's it coming from? Anywhere? No? Okay, we're just gonna wait for him. We're just gonna wait for this dude to come along and we're gonna take him out. And then that'll do for the... the basically the, the tutorial level of, of Dungeon Keeper. Um... Again, just showing you guys what this game is like because I, I used to love this game when I was Beware, a kid. Like I said. The Lord of the Land approaches. Here we go. We shall not tolerate your evil presence any longer. Well, tough because you're gonna have to. Okay, let's uh, zoom in on this battle. There we go. Look at that! Look at that! I can smell his fear. Defeat him, and the realm is yours. Nearly dead. Nearly done. Okay. No match for flies and beetles. You have conquered this realm. We have conquered this realm! Your work here is done. Now there's no one to prevent you from obliterating this nauseating realm and expanding your empire into a neighboring land. Nice! Okay. So that's that. So there you have it. Dungeon Keeper. Um. Creatures uh, attracted 11, efficiency 82. So there we go. Oh, and Anthrax have taken to this land like fleas to a rat. Yay! It is, thanks to your unstinting efforts, now a major eyesore. Ah! <laughs> nice. Okay, well, thank you all so much for watching. Again, just wanted to show off a game that I used to love when I was a kid, and I just started playing again just for myself. And uh, I just wanted to introduce some of you who may not have heard of it before. So there you go. Um, yeah, anyway, thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you next time, but until then, bye bye